Hi everyone. So I filmed a video last night and the night before but it's just not working for me really at the moment. I'm having a really difficult time because um, I did the hour long video and as you can see 13 minutes went up and I tried to edit the video to cut out the first 13 minutes and I thought I had done then I uploaded that video that was nearly 10 minutes long but it was basically the first 10 minutes of the 13 minute long video. I'm still going to work on trying to get the rest of that footage up because I think well I filmed it I might as well try and get it up. I can't really show you where I am um, but um, I filmed again last night and I think it was about 30 minutes long maybe I think it was longer I think it was 38 minutes long and I set it to upload around 3 a.m. and I woke up well I woke up on and off checking on it and it got to about half past nine and I wanted my phone basically and I checked and it still had four hours left and I thought I cannot cope without my phone for four hours so I basically stopped the upload and so now there's me talking about things that only make sense if the video has been watched so I'm going to try and get that one up as well at some point. They're all going to be out of order. Um, but my weekly video went up today anyway. I think it's just me moaning about the heating. The lack of heating. Me hand washing things and me feeling tired. So if you've not watched it, I've just summed it up really well. Um, and it's like, what can I talk about in this video? Because if I talk about things that I talked about in the video from last night or the night before, it's not going to make sense because you've obviously not seen those videos and you're just wonder, going to wonder what the hell I'm going on about. Um, but I, I, I still plan on putting them up at some point. Um, obviously they won't be live updates because it's beyond the point of being live. Um, so basically... In the one that I put up last night and the night before actually and there was another one from the night before that that I never put up because it was too long and it would have took up too much time on my phone because in case you've not realised from the amount of times I've said it but my broadband is so rubbish that even a minute long clip will take 20 minutes to upload it's a bit of a nightmare so today my car my beloved car that isn't even a joke like if I didn't have my car I probably would have top myself by now um, and that's the honest truth this car and me being able to get out now for a drive or whenever I'm feeling down or struggling it's kind of been my saviour um, and that's me being really super honest um, if I didn't have this car then I doubt I would be here now and I think something would have happened by now so basically it was throwing up error codes and I've had code 82 on for a long time but I had code 82 sorted out, it was an oil and filter change, but the person who did it didn't turn off the error code, and they said if I take it back they'll turn it off, but um, where I got it done is about 12-15 miles from my house, and I just didn't want to drive and get it turned off basically, so I've been driving around with code um, 82 on, and then code 55 kept coming on and going off, like it would come on maybe every two weeks and it'd probably be on for like 10 minutes or 20 minutes and then it, it would go off um, and obviously if it was going off it weren't a problem and then about three weeks ago I sat in my car all day um, to keep away from my house because a certain group of people were stressing me out and um, basically because I sat in my car with my aircon on all day um, code 55 stayed on and the match and the picture not a picture but like a symbol thing whatever it is a light came on it basically looked like um, steam um, that's what the picture looks like um, came on and code 55 kept coming on all the time and staying on for the majority of my journey by the time I got to the main road every time I went out of my car code 55 would be on um, and I knew I, I was going to have to have it diagnosed and then last weekend I think um, another light came on and I was driving along and I went up is it a slip road when you go up to the motorway and I was trying to overtake someone 
um, because I think they were doing something stupid like 30 or 40 and I was trying to go past them and all of a sudden it felt like my car backfired and there was no power like there was power to keep up with this car but I couldn't overtake it so I'm thinking oh my god my turbo's gone like absolutely panicking because that would be an arm and a leg if my turbo went and went down the motorway and couldn't overtake anyone and like there was people in the inside lane doing 50 and I just wanted to go around them and I just when I tried I could get past them just but then I weren't driving fast enough to be in the outside lane I was having to go into the inside lane so I went home and was like I think my turbo's gone to which my dad went you joking and I'm like why would I joke about my most important thing in my life so I was like I'm just gonna have to have it diagnosed because obviously there's something wrong with it and then I went out that night and I think I filmed a wrong video for this channel which never went up because it was so long I just couldn't have my phone monopolized for eight hours um, and again I just couldn't get the power I couldn't get above 60 um, on the motorway obviously I'm not like driving around town doing 60 and um, I was just really upset so Monday it got booked in to the garage that I used to go with all my other cars but then my dad basically didn't like them because um, on my last car um, it needed new discs and pads or whatever and I got the work done elsewhere and they tried to say it was still wrong and it wasn't and um, they failed it on the MLT and said it was wrong so obviously um, went back to where I got my, my them done and they did the test as well went no there's nothing wrong with it so um, we went back and was like look it, it's fine and they had to pass it because there was nothing wrong with it they was just a bit annoyed that I'd had it done elsewhere and my dad basically fell out with them but I said to my dad I bet they're cheap uh, at diagno diagnosing problems with the car and so I booked it in and they were cheaper they were 25% cheaper than the next cheapest quote and so it got dropped off today and um, I really needed it I had a very important appointment to go to today and I had to make my way there by other means and then um, I think the place where I took my car has been taken over by someone because he was the nicest person on the planet well not the nicest but he was so nice because sometimes with mechanics or people that own garages they're not well they try and con you basically and he basically said um, because the error code hadn't been turned off when I had the oil filter and change done it threw up all sorts of problems with my computer system because my computer system was then saying I'm driving around on old oil and the oil needs changing and because it weren't reset and the computer didn't tell it that it'd been re it'd been done my computer's telling like different parts of the computer that I'm driving around it with this really old oil and it needs changing so that was fun so basically it was throwing up all these error codes on my, com on my car and it was causing it problems and it was like basically that was wrong what was wrong with it but also I've been told I need to take my car because I went and picked my car up he said that you need to take your car on a 40 mile trip every other week because it's a diesel and what's happening is it, your diesel particle filter I'm sorry if this is boring anyone but basically your diesel particle filter needs to get hot to get rid of all the soot in the system and because you're just doing short journeys around town like five mile journeys even if even though you're going down the motorway twice a day you're only going down three miles you need to get it so it's hot so it can get rid of all the crap basically otherwise you're going to end up with loads of problems with your car so not many mechanics would actually tell you that and he was really nice and he said if it throws up any more error codes bring it back and I'll sort it out I'll pull it back in so anyway off I go <laughs> and it threw up the code 55 on me and I couldn't go back because of what time it was and I was on my way to do the shopping um so I do my shopping and then I get a message off him saying if you come back now I'll pull it back in and sort it out but by the time I read that message I think it was about 20 past four and I was at home and to go back to where he was 
and because of the traffic it probably would have took me about half an hour to get there then I'm coming back in tea time traffic which will probably take me the same if not longer so it's going to go back in the morning and he's going to take the error code off again because he, he said he thinks he knows what error code it is um, if he thinks it's code 55 it is um, so basically he's going to put it in for free whereas if I rung up next week and said it's back up he, he would charge me um, so I was saying to my dad like I don't remember him from last time and we think it's been taken over by someone else because the guy that ran it before was a bit of an idiot um, that's why my dad ended up having a massive argument with him but if I would have like seen the message before I headed home I would have headed straight there and it could have been sorted today but he just said it probably just needs plugging in and since I've been like out again this tonight I went to Asda it went off so the error code's off but my dad said just take it back anyway um, because if it goes on on the way there it needs looking at plus if you take it back next week and not like to the morrow like he said he can charge you so I'm just going to go back with it but I'm so happy because in my head I had this £500 bill in my head I'll be honest and <laughs> yeah at the moment that would be a little bit impossible and then I wouldn't want to drive it round because I wouldn't want to do more damage but um, yeah it's fine and I said I'm going to take it there for its MLT in September well actually it's due in September but I always get it done a month early so it'll be going in in about three or four weeks Um, because I'm not going to the one round the corner from my house it went there last year and it passed anyway but he ripped my dad off with some work on his car like it cost him over a grand for some work and he had his car for like a week um, so yeah I'm just going to take it where I always used to take my car until my dad fell out with them but that's his problem it's not my problem so yes I've got my car and um, I don't I think I posted a video like I was going to something very nerve-wracking today and I worked myself up about it and it weren't as bad as I thought um, but I don't know if everyone else does it but I just I don't know I was scared to death and I'd, do you know when you go to things and you don't know what to expect and you don't know what they're gonna ask you or what is gonna happen it was one of those situations and I was no I weren't that nervous when I was there but I don't know what it was but I was having a mini breakdown about it this morning but when I got there I was fine and everything's fine and I can't say what it is but it's not what people will think it is who think they know me because there's people who think they know me and they think I'm this person or that person and and I'm nothing like I've been described by a certain group of people like when they said certain things about me I was horrified and I let one of them get to know me who continuously upset me but I let them get to know a bit of me because obviously they can't get to know the whole of me because you know there's not enough hours in the day to get to know me um, but yeah I've done something that would shock a lot of people and um, yeah that's all I can say at the moment. I might be able to say something in a few weeks from now, but I'm still highly stressed and I've still got a lot of issues and things to sort out and a lot of talking to do. And I'm not happy how like a certain group of people have got me to tell them about things, but they won't let me give them any more information about it because they don't want me to prove it's true. And they've offered me no support and for anything when they should have been offering me support and I should have had a certain support from something that happened in April and I've not been offered that um, I keep getting told I'll get a certain certain person will ring me and offer me the support but like 10 weeks later I still don't have that which is frustrating and they wonder why I get stressed out and upset um, I was really upset last night I don't think that video has actually, oh it has actually gone up but I um, I put it on private this morning um, by accident, I need to unprivate it but I was very upset last night. Um, I was fine when I was out filming a video, um, the video that's not gone up again um, but when I was at home I got really upset and I'm the worst at night time and 
obviously I'm not going to go out for a drive at 2 in the morning. Yes, I used to go out at 1 in the morning, but I got very ill last night. There's a video up, um, called 1110999. I was in so much pain in my chest last night, I almost had to ring an ambulance. And that's the last thing I want to do at the moment because, well, I knew what I had to do today. I had to, like sort my car out and I had to go to a very very important possibly life changing meeting appointment whatever um so I couldn't allow myself to end up in hospital last night um I've got a lot of the similar symptoms that I got leading up to the chest pain last night again I'm trying my hardest to get a doctor's appointment the soonest I can get one I think 21st or the 23rd of July try to get one sooner the next one available is the 1st of August. So somehow I've got to get to the 20th, I think it's the 21st. And what is it today? Is it like the 13th or 12th? So is it next week, the 21st? I don't know. I don't even know. But that's the soonest I can get an appointment. I'm going to keep checking every day in case there's a cancellation. Um, but yeah. I was so close to having to ring 111 last night and I know the second I say chest pain, that's it, it's an emergency ambulance every time. And the pain was so bad and at the moment I don't have a bag packed because I did have two bags packed. I had a bag um, for if I stay overnight or two nights and then there was one if I was in longer. And at the moment, because there was, there was stuff in it, clothes and um, pyjamas mainly, um, I didn't want them to be in the bag for months and start smelling so I wore them and I was meant to replace them so I think I'm going to do that tonight uh, because the pain that I'm like the pain started and the no I've started like getting very nauseous um, at night time especially and that's how it started last night I was sat here filming a video just like I am now and I started to feel super nauseous so I ended the video um, and then I went home basically because of the like the nauseousness or the nausea um, started to get really bad. So I'm currently still fighting these illnesses. I still have no intention of having an operation. Um, it's very much out of the question after today um, having an operation because I just don't have. Well, there's a lot of reasons why I don't want the operation. One of them is because of my depression and I can't be off my feet because when I get really down, I need to be able to get go out and get in my car and go for a drive. That's why I got really upset when I thought there was something severely wrong with my car because I can't be without my car because it has saved my life. That's the honest truth and I'm not going to go into the ins and outs of it, but me having this car and being able to go for a drive at one or two in the morning has stopped me from doing very stupid things um my car and my license are the, like the two most important things i own and that's why you won't see me speeding down the motorway at 100 or drink driving not that i drink but you just wouldn't catch me doing any of those things and my pet peeves are people that drink and drive people who drive over the lines in the road like People who don't take notice of the lines in the road and people who go through red lights. Um, there's probably more, but because, you know, you just see so many, like, dangerous things and situations. And I should have danger money. Like, my car insurance is so expensive. Like, if I told you how many years I've been driving and how many years no claims bonus I have and how much I pay for insurance, you'd be so shocked. I'm so sick of paying a crazy amount of money for car insurance and I'm pretty sure my niece who's had a licence for less than a year I think she pays less than me but then again she's got her car registered at um, someone else's house in a very affluent area um, where the house is worth over a million pounds so that's how she gets her insurance cheap but I'm not doing that because I think it's actually illegal isn't it um, so yeah so my two important things in my life are my car and my license and 
I don't have any points. I never intend to get any points. I hope I never get any points. I don't know what I'd get points doing. Unless sitting in your car talking on your phone um, illegal. I don't have my keys in ignition. I know you can't see because it's dark, but they're not. Um, but yeah, it has saved my life um, being able to go out and go for a drive. Like tonight, I wasn't super down, but I was getting a bit... And I can't even describe the feeling, but I knew I had to come for a drive. And when I came out, the sun set. It was sun was in the sky and it was coming down and the sky was blue and pink and it was so beautiful. And I came here and sat here and I was just like, that is absolutely stunning. And it's just nice to come here and chill out and relax. And it's just like what I needed today because obviously my car was stressing me out and I thought they're going to ring up and say it's £500 like... I was like, I can't cope with it if it is. And then I had to go to something, um, possibly life changing, as I said. Um, I mean, everything's life changing. Every decision everyone makes is life changing. Like, I don't know, like, I could say, I'm going to drive to Manchester now. I could drive down the motorway and some drunk driver could drive into the back of me. You know, every little decision in life that we make can change our lives forever i've made decisions in the last year that have just ruined my life like i've worked for people who have made my life a misery i've trusted people i've done what everyone's wanted to try and have an easy life but i've made myself have a harder life and you know i would i don't think i'd still do the same things but I, w I still try and make people happy. I still try and make everyone happy. Like, today I went to something to make other people happy. Um, hopefully it'll make me happy at some point. I don't know, but I'm trying my best to just get through every day the best I can without having a breakdown. And, you know, that's why it's important that I have my car, that I can get in it, I can go for a drive, I can you know, have that half an hour, an hour away from my house, sometimes it's longer, sometimes I can sit up here for ages and film, like this video clip's getting a bit long and I will stop it in the next few minutes, just so I can try and upload it tonight, in fact I'm going to end this one and start another one because if I don't, I could sit here for an hour, um, but I may not upload the second one, but we'll see, so for now, I'm going to leave it.